Hey. Hey. Welcome to uh, the Age of Aquarius. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron. This is just my uh, personal vlog. So uh, please don't take anything seriously that I say. Um, it's just a blog, you know. I'm not here to tell anyone anything about what they should or shouldn't be doing or thinking or feeling. You know, this is just like, it's about me, right? But, you know, I'm not the only one having these experiences. So I'm kind of... I don't know, like the reason I'm on right now is because I was thinking earlier how I miss community and I need community today. And because of various things, um, I haven't been in community recently and uh, I couldn't go today. I just don't feel up to it, you know. I'm, um, I had a pretty horrendous night of insomnia all the usual stuff you know and getting out getting out is difficult I'm finding it very challenging and I and I guess I could have forced myself but I chose not to force myself you know um so I was thinking about wanting to be in community wanting to be around people I I was watching a a music channel just now um a music channel on YouTube and uh, it's got a live chat and so I was watching the chat and people interacting and arguing with each other and you know all that normal stuff like and it just I was like oh I wonder if anyone I follow is you know live right now like the chances are so slim um and of course there weren't but you know, then I was like, well, I can create community for myself, can't I? I can share. I can talk. I don't really want to talk live. I don't really want to do a live stream or anything. But I can come on the camera and talk, right? So that's what I'm doing. And I have a coffee. And if you can't tell, I've been fiddling with the settings on my camera. On my phone, so uh, today there's a distinct kind of lavender, violet kind of vibe going on. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's um. Yeah, so apparently today is the uh, Pluto moves back into Aquarius. 20 years is it or something I don't know so it's the age of Aquarius now apparently I don't know I think we're I think I don't think there's any hard line for that is there I think it's just a, a phase that happens I don't know I don't know anything about astrology I'm sort of slightly interested in it but I've always been skeptic until I woke up and um, and I was like, oh gosh, you know, maybe there's something to it. Maybe I shouldn't be discounting this. Um, but even so, like, it's still not really part of my interest, you know. Um, yeah, kind of like, I don't know what I want to talk about. There's lots of stuff going on. Oh, for a start, I want to say to my friend, I won't say her real name. She goes by Frangie's house or something. Frangie's house. Um, just want to say I love you and thanks for being here. And uh, it's, a, it's, um, it's a real treat to chat with you on the weekend. It always is. It always is. Um, and I hope you're doing okay. Anyway. Uh, 
yeah. I think it's just sort of kind of, I don't know, like it's just kind of time to come out of the woodwork with all of this stuff, isn't it? Everything needs to be exposed, doesn't it, right now? Um, like, you know, we talk about, um, this is the age where everything becomes unveiled, becomes known, um, the light shines into the darkness and all of that stuff, going into a golden age and all that ascension stuff and uh, the truth will be known now and all of that and I think that's been happening for a very long time but we're in this particular time right now we have the privilege of having front row seats of this particular moment in our evolution when we're gonna be we're gonna come out the other side kind of quite different I think and whether that happens in the next sort of 10, 50, 100, 500 years, I don't know. But it's happening. Um, and uh, that's why we're in a, in a bit of a pickle. That's why the shit's hitting the fan. So we're going through this, like, you know, there's lots of stuff being, lots of unpleasant stuff happening. Lots of unpleasant stuff being revealed. Um, but lots of, you know, positive stuff as well. And, um, like... You know, can kind of get, can kind of get like a bit like a deer in the headlights with the darkness, with the with the heavy stuff. Um, can kind of be overwhelming. And uh, you know, what what do we even do about it? It's so big, you know. But um, what about what about the the positive stuff as well? You know, I think, you know, if I could crit criticise myself, which I'm not going to, but is that the darkness can be a bit like that for me. It can be overwhelming and I get stuck like a deer in the headlights, you know. And uh, just waiting to get run over kind of thing, really. But it doesn't happen. I uh, haven't been run over yet. I've had a few near misses. But I'm still here, right? And, um... You know, what's next? What small steps can I take to help myself, to help others, to help my loved ones, right? Who do my loved ones need me to be? Who do my friends need me to be? Who do I need me to be? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have any answers. Just questions, really. Um, and I'm listening. I want to know, you know, it's genuine, like that feeling of, I just want to know what I'm supposed to be doing, God, please let me know, you know, and, uh, I don't know. Do any of us ever really get there? Do any of us really ever feel that way? That we are, like, completely in alignment? And, like, I get it. 
part of my journey is to find that, you know, that it is there, but that the human stuff still carries on. You know, we still have to shit and eat and all that messy stuff that we do. We still have to do all that stuff. I think there were times in my awakening, in my psychosis, that I thought some of that stuff would actually go away, you know? But, no. Still me. (laughs) Still me. Still the way I am. And my journey, my conscious kind of wish, my desire, has been sort of swinging back to want to be me, you know? Gradually. And I think it's kind of, it's a hard understanding, it's a hard place to come back to. Because you realise you've spent most of your life trying to escape who you are. And then you go through some things, shit goes down, spiritual awakenings, mental health issues, psychosis, life changes. And you realise you are trying to run away from the one thing that you most desire to be. I want to be me. It's not like I can't complain about certain things. But to be here, that's what I mean, to be alive. To be alive, to have the pleasure and the privilege and the honour of taking up space in this world. Of claiming a space in this world, you know. Claiming it. Not apologetically. You know, like we all do. I do it. I'm sorry I'm here. I'm sorry I'm the way I am. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry I did that. You know? We're all just bumbling along, making our mistakes, fucking things up, learning. You know, that's life, isn't it? We're just kids, aren't we, really? We're children. Like I'm, I can't believe how old I am. I can't believe it. I feel like a kid. I feel like a kid in an adult body. It's crazy. I I think the whole idea of growing up is just a load of nonsense. I don't think we ever grow up. Not in the way that we think we do. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. So, who knows what's next, right? Let's not get... Um caught in the headlights I don't want to be caught in the headlights I know it'll probably happen because that's just what keeps happening for me and I'm not creating that I'm not calling that in it's just a pattern it's just one of my patterns Today does feel different. I woke up to snow on the ground. 
Just a very light dusting. That was nice. It just feels different today. Somehow. It feels lighter. It feels a little easier. A little bit more peaceful. I feel a little bit more sure of myself. I feel that I just want to be here, but that I want to choose how that happens. In my journey, I've got involved with certain teachers, certain schools of thought and philosophies, communities, teachings, rabbit holes, conspiracy theories, And it's been a hell of a ride. And I think, in a way, we're coming to the end of some kind of a spiritual way of life. We're coming to the end of spirituality. And it doesn't mean that spirituality is not a real thing. But, you know, to me, spirituality is a kind of a nebulous and an all-encompassing term for anything really kind of unseen, unknown, any mystery... So it includes, you know, even, th- you know, metaphysics and uh, darkness, you know, conspiracies, kind of things that are behind the scenes. And lightness, of course, you know. But what what happens when we've all been on that journey and the world has changed and we've become aware of certain things and maybe we've healed from those things and we've learned and so those things are no longer unknown those things are no longer mysteries what does spirituality mean to us then What does it mean to me? I'm finding that I'm changing quite fast right now in what I want to take part in. And I, I question it. I wonder whether I'm on some kind of ego rabbit hole, you know. Questioning whether I think I'm better than people. Or if it's just time to move on. I don't know. But there's a lot of bullshit out there. I want to say out there, I'm just like talking about YouTube really. Online. Spirituality is going mainstream now. It's cropping up everywhere. 
I've been kind of like on this journey for, I guess, let's say 20 years. I was looking for, I was looking for something and then I became aware that there was a possibility that I might wake up at one point in the future. People were waking up and talking about it a little bit. I found some people online. So then I became obsessed that I wanted to wake up. And then I did. And since then, I've been at times awake and at times back in sleepy town, you know. But now it's like everyone's talking about being awake. And that means totally different things to different people. And this kind of spiritual world that's blossoming is kind of quite treacherous, I find. There's a lot of experts now. It's coming up in all walks of life. All right, I love... I love engaging in sort of creative content online and sort of photography videos and stuff like that. And, you know, even in like a photography video, people start getting philosophical. They weren't, they weren't doing it before. And it's kind of a bit of a shock, you know. It's like, oh, I came here for the photography. I appreciate what you're saying, but I'm not there anymore. I've moved on from that, you know, from what you're saying now. And I find it difficult to listen to. And I wonder if I'm on an ego trip. Or it's just that I've moved on and grown just my focus is somewhere else right now and I don't want to hear about the law of fucking attraction you know <laughs> like I don't know I don't want to hear about raising my vibration you know from a photographer or something like that you know and I'm noticing teachers actual spiritual teachers Who's that? Is they've made it their jobs, you know. Not that anyone's qualified. No one's qualified, are they? There's no spiritual teacher qualification, as far as I know. Unless you're in a religion. But These teachers I'm noticing are sort of still holding on to something that we need to move beyond. That this is what I would call classical spirituality that's based in past teachings, past realities. And uh, we can always learn from the past, but... We have to know where we are now as well, don't we? Do we want to move on? Do we want to grow? Or are we just going to get stuck in something that was channeled in the 80s, you know? Which there's a lot of value there. There's a lot to learn there. But we're not going to turn things into a new religion, are we? Are we? Please? I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to 
invent new religions. We don't want to invent new religions, do we? I've said it before. I was floating around the edge of a cult. Something culty. I'm not really saying it's actually a cult. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But I was floating around the edge of it and I was affected by it. As just an online person. Uh, an online person with stuff going on. Looking for a saviour. You know? And there's a lot of people saying, hey, here's one. And that person was like, well, you know, I don't know, but I'll allow it. You know, that kind of thing. We don't want that anymore. It's dead. That energy is dead. The days of the guru are gone. We've been living on the fumes of it for a long time. And maybe at times it still helps to have a leader of sorts, you know. But I think we're moving into something new and we've got to get with that program. And it doesn't mean because that's dying. Because that's fading away, we don't need to step up and fill that gap. There's literally thousands of people doing this spirituality, vlogging, teachings and whatever else online. And a lot of them are trying to make a claim, trying to position themselves, you know, that influencer thing, trying to be an influencer. I don't know, the whole influencer thing sounds a bit like a cult to me, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to be here for people, you know. I want to be here for the people that ask me to be here for them. If I ever wanted to be some kind of leader I don't want to be now. No way. If I ever wanted to be an influencer I don't want to be now. I've put people up on pedestals. There's no way I want that happening to me. Okay, this is feels like quite a weird video that I've made. I'm going to post it. And I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, thanks for, to the people that reached out to me on my previous video. I am having an issue. I'm not sure what's going on. There, I mean, many, 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 many people that publish on YouTube have this same kind of issue. Is that comments is a bit of a mess. I can be made aware that, you know, like YouTube will send me an email with comments that people have made and then I can't find them. There's no, I have no way of replying. I can't even find them to reply. I think sometimes people delete comments. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I know it has happened. I know people have commented. 
I know people have commented and then blocked me. Um, and I'm, I don't want to go into why they do that, but they do. Um, it's definitely happened. Uh, so I don't know. I'm sorry if you've left a comment and I haven't replied. I'm sorry about that. It's not because I don't want to reply. Maybe I can't see it. Or uh, maybe I can see it and I've not been able to reply. I've tried thinking of one person in particular from the last video. I don't know what happened to their comments. They're gone. All I can assume is they've been deleted somehow. Not by me. Um. So, but yeah, but anyway, but thanks for, you know, thanks for the messages. That's all I can say. It's nice to hear from people. Um, and with that, I'm going. Goodbye.